Hello guys, welcome to Ionix Academy. In today's story, we are going to be deriving a capacitive reactor equation of an ideal capacitor. Here on our board, we have a circuit containing a capacitor connected in series to an AC main source. Now, how do we go about deriving the equation? From Ohm's law, we know that our Vc, that is voltage across the capacitor, is given as Ixc. Let's call this equation 1. And we know that the potential difference across a capacitor is given as Vc is equal to charge, which is our Q, all over C. Equation 2. And we know that the electric current flowing in a circuit is given as Q is equal to IT. Let's call this equation 3. And we know that our instantaneous current is given as maximum current times sine omega t. That is our instantaneous current I is equal to I m sine omega t. Let's call this equation 4. Now, what are we going to do? These are the equations needed to derive the capacitive reactance equation of an ideal capacitor. Now, what are we going to do? Now, let's plug equation 3 to equation 2. If we do that, we are going to have our VC be equal to I C all over C. Let's call this our equation 5. Now, let's plug equation 4 to equation 5. If we do that, we have our VC will be equal to I M sine omega T times T all over C. Now, what we are going to do now is that we are going to write this in differential form, which is the same thing as C will be equal to I M all over C times sine omega T D T. Now let's integrate both sides with respect to C. So if I have to do that. We have our V V V C give us our I M all over C times now if we integrate this we are going to have Vc and this is a constant, this is constant. So if we integrate this, the integration of sine is going to give us minus cosine. So we have it as times minus cos omega t all over omega. I believe by now you should be able to integrate this function here. Now we have our VC is equal to I M all over omega C times minus cos omega T. Now from our trigonometric function, we know that our cos A give us sine boom bracket a minus pi over 2. Now, this equation can be written with respect to the above equation. We have our minus cos omega t is equal to sine boom bracket omega t minus pi over 2. Now let's plug this trigonometric function here. 
So we have it as our VC. Well, our VC will not be equal to I M all over omega C times sine boom bracket omega T minus pi over two close bracket. Now we can see that this angle here shows that the voltage across a capacitor lag by pi over two radians or ninety degree. Therefore we have our VC to be equal to I M all over omega C times sine omega T. Now let's call this uh, equation six. Let's call this uh, equation six. Now if we compare equation four and equation six, our V C can therefore be written as I all over omega c. Now let's call this uh, equation 7. What we are going to do here is that we will compare our equation 7. Let me clear here off. We are going to compare our equation 7 with our equation 1. If we do that, we will be having our i xc will be equal to i all over omega c i will cancel i so we have our xc will go to 1 over omega c we know that our omega is empty as 2 pi f therefore our xc will give us 1 all over 2 pi fc so this is derivation of the capacitive reactance of the AC circuits. Please, I would like you to like my video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell, and leave a comment below. Thank you.